Andrew Coleman from HEL. I'm here at our global headquarters here in Borehamwood, North London, to tell you all about our CAT systems. Firstly, we have our CAT 7 system. Like all the CAT blocks, this is a single autoclave with multiple vials within it. This is rated to 100 bar and is available in stainless steel 316 or Hasloy C276. CAT 7 has seven vials inside of it. Each of these is a 20 milliliter vial with a single stirrer fleet and we also have these Teflon plugs on top which just minimise bumping and cross-contamination between the vials. On the lid of the reactor we have a pressure gauge, bursting disc or pressure relief valve for safety and then a uh, dosing valve to allow gas to come in and out and a needle valve so you let it out slowly so it's not like opening a bottle of coke where it all bubbles over the top. We also have a thermocouple. There are two ports on top of the lid uh, for liquid to go in and out and that's to cool the lid of the reactor so you get a degree of reflux. Because you've got common headspace within all the CAT reactors, they're not suitable for screening different solvents, but they're an ideal tool for screening different catalysts, different ligands, or for small library work. Next we have our CAT24. Like the CAT7, multiple reactors within a single block. Although here we have 24 reactors, and they're these small 2 milliliter tubes. And you can put a small magnetic flea in the bottom if you want all of those to be stirred. Again, in the same way, you have similar manifold. Pressure gauge, relief valve, dosing valve, letdown valve, and a position for a thermocouple. And again, with the TWAT24, we have a cooled head. Although with this, we have pins which go into each of the vials, and those pins allow cooling and reflux in each individual vial. Finally, we have our CAT18. This is the simplest of the CAT units, and it uses the standard HPLC vial. We use these with lids on because with the pressure of gas that you put in there, the gas will permeate straight into the vial and the lid stops bumping and contains all the reaction within the vial. Again, similar sort of assembly, although it's a simpler manifold with less ports, although the key parts are there. Pressure gauge, relief valve, dosing valve, and letdown valve. Thank you for watching our video. If you need any more information on this or any of our other products, then please visit our website at www dot hlgroup dot com